Yeah. People are dense about, oh, you don't get struck by lightning to do that stuff. Well, now he learned. Hopefully, and if he, yeah. But still, it's like, oh my gosh. Like, if the reptile, if the reptiles are trying to get out of the heat, it's too hot for mammals to be out in it. <laughs> Like, the fuck? Yeah, like, he was on the other side of the tank trying to get away from the heat. It's like, oh my god. It's bad when the snakes and the reptiles are trying to get away from the heat. But AC's been fixed. Everyone's happy about it. Snake's happy about it. Also, it doesn't help that the snake wasn't shed. He's still in shed. But he's likely to shed his skin over the weekend. Um, but, like... It's like having a sweater on top of this heat. Like, oh my gosh. That's a shed. That That's like, that's, the shed is for like a snake. It's like an extra layer of skin. That's an extra layer of stuff. I mean, it's dead and stuff. It's getting ready to de detach and come off. But like, oh my gosh. You got yourself some issues there. Like, no. Hopefully he doesn't go into shed during a heat wave again. He is not a fan of that, that's for sure. But he did not become more aggressive, actually, which is actually surprising. He's very... He's a very tolerant snake. Like, I... Ne I haven't really countered an animal that is that tolerant. Like, he, I could pick him up, like, within two days of him feeding, and he doesn't cough up the... the vomit up the mouse or whatever he doesn't snap it's a very tolerant snake the closest he's gotten to biting me was well at times where he gets hungry to the point it's like okay a little bit of lightning there missed that one but um it's like he like he gets hungry to the point where he just snatches a mouse out of my hand before I put the mouse in the tank to feed him. He's like, okay. He hungry. Um, that's like the closest he's ever gotten to biting me is because the mouse was near my hand. Or not even out of my hand yet. Um, so, that's us and that's usually a sign to up the size of the mouse. <sighs> so... Yeah, that's, well, that's what I plan on doing after he's out of shed. Um, the reason I have it right now is because he's in shed. Oh, there's a cat. I just wondered what the cat was. He's under the chair. He's under me. Just so I know, if the chair gives out, you're gonna get crushed. Unless if I pick you up. Yeah, I pick you up, boy. Looks like the storm is over for the most part, actually. A little bit of rain, there's a little bit of lightning still. So it might not be over actually. But see maybe like a little front of send those let's just go and do south. Um so this would be a moment for me to check radar. Um and that'll determine the fate of the stream. So BRB, but I am still seeing light north of here, so that's a sign that we may have more storms to come. But BRB, I doubt it was going to be a, t a 10 minute. Okay, so the rain has started back up a little bit. There's still thunder and lightning, so storm's still going. So the stream still goes. As a cat gets tangled in the wire that is hooked up to the portable charger. Crazy cat. My gosh, this cat is crazy. Because you don't believe me. There is a cat right here. As soon as I turn on flash, you will see him. Can you stop trying to bite, you psycho? I'm trying to bite all of a sudden. Like, I'm not doing anything I got you don't want to bite. You crazy cat. You are a crazy cat. You're on camera now. What are you going to do now? I don't really care for camera, I know. And for those wondering about this, the, the, the scratch and stuff, he gets out a lot and he usually get gets into thorn bushes so just mostly him being an idiot around thorn bushes um but 
I disable my flash, Mother Nature turns on her flash. 